So if we hook up our strain gauge bridge like this with our four resistances from our four different gauges so that we get a measured voltage difference, this delta Vm in between them, that delta Vm depends on the change in resistance and this voltage up here. So the bigger that voltage, the bigger this voltage for the same thing happening on the transducer. We're going to put that into an amplifier and the amplifier's got a fixed gain which is established by whatever gain resistor we've attached on the amplifier so that the output voltage V out is going to be bigger than the reference voltage for our pseudo ground amplifier by an amount that depends on the input voltage and the gain. So this output voltage is also going to depend on the magnitude of the supply voltage, this VCC, that we're putting across here because it's been determined by the input voltage. Now when we go and measure these output voltages from the amplifier on our Arduino, if we connect them to the analog ports to convert them into numbers from 0 to 1023, and if we use the same reference voltage for the conversion, then that conversion will also depend on what the supply voltage was. So that these numbers here will depend only on the changes in resistance out here. If we increase this voltage a little bit, the measured voltage will go up a little bit, the output from the amplifier will go up by a little bit, but the reference voltage that it's comparing that output to will go up by a little bit so that the digital converted value will remain the same. And we can use those directly as a measure of how our overall strain gauge bridge is performing. Suppose we've hooked it all up and now we start applying mass to the end of the cantilever beam load cell. If we have no mass on the end of the beam, then there'll be nominally no deflection and we'll need to measure what our reference voltage and our output voltage are. We can get that from the digital conversion values. So A0 might be 507. That's the reading that we get by comparing the reference voltage of about 2.5 volts to plus 5. It's about halfway in between. And we measure the output voltage converted to a digital value, we might wind up with 523. It could just as easily be lower than the A0 value. This is the offset, the imbalance in the bridge, the differences in these resistors when there's no load applied to the beam. So we find that A1 minus A0, 523 minus 507 is 16 when the mass is equal to zero. If we go up to one kilogram, we might find that A0 when we measured this time was 508. That's just normal variation. It should stay pretty much the same. But we might find that A1 was 547. 547 minus 508 leaves me with 39. So a difference in digital conversion values of 39 corresponds to a mass of one kilogram on the end of the cantilever beam. 10 kilograms, I would expect to see still this A0, this reference voltage staying about two and a half volts. Might be 507 again, might be 506. It'll be some value. And then when we measure A1, it's going to go up considerably. It might be 843, indicating that we've got considerably more change in the resistances because we've got a considerably bigger load here. 843 minus 506 is going to be 337. So that's the difference that corresponds to 10 kilograms. If I draw a graph, of A1 minus A0, 
versus the applied mass, I expect that I'm going to see not quite a perfect line straight through the origin, but there may be some offset value. I still expect that I'm going to see a straight line so that there's my one kilogram value and there's my 10 kilogram value. And if I take some more data points in between, I should be able to come up with a calibration relationship that allows me to measure the mass or the force applied to our cantilever beam load cell in comparison to the analog values measured here, the difference between the amplifier output and the reference voltage.